Hey friend, in this video, I'm teaching you how to sketch basic leaves. So obviously I paint a lot of flowers, I paint a lot of leaves, but why are we teaching a tutorial on sketching leaves? Well, this can be so helpful in terms of developing muscle memory and an eye for basic shapes for leaves and curves. So I'm teaching you the C curve and the S curve leaf, the combo leaf, the simple cluster of leaves like we have in a peony flower. And then I'm also throwing in the eight, the figure eight leaf where you have a fold or a really long twist in your leaf. And it's way simpler when broken down than most people think. So if you're ready, let's dive in. All right, so for this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to sketch some basic leaves. Because again, if you're just sketching or you're illustrating with markers or pens or you're painting leaves, it's really helpful to understand the basic shape first and um, having that as your foundation before you paint, before you pick up a pen or a pencil. So for leaves, everything I do for a leaf is either a C-curve or an S-curve, that's it. So C-curve, we obviously have one arch and it can go either direction, obviously. An S-curve has two arches, kind of like a snake or a worm. Um, so obviously that might be pretty straightforward and obvious, but for those of you who aren't super familiar with sketching or drawing, C-curve, S-curve. So depending on the size of the leaf, the direction of the leaf, I will sometimes only use C-curves, sometimes I'll only use S-curves, sometimes I'll use both. So it's just kind of what is the flower, what is the overall shape of the leaf, and what am I going for? So I'm gonna show you how to do a basic C-curve leaf first. So I'm gonna start with the stem that leads into the middle vein of the leaf, and then the sides or edges of the leaf will come around it like a heart shape. So C curve, and when I'm drawing or sketching, I have a lot of wrist movement. No, no finger movement whatsoever, unless I'm adding detail. So right now we're just getting the contour or the basic shape of the, of the leaf down. And so I'm just using my wrist. You can also use your arm if you feel comfortable. Just make sure you're resting on the paper like this. If you're left-handed, you might need to tilt your paper and curve downwards like this and work this way. Um, whatever feels best for you and you're not gonna smudge. So at the top of this C-curve, I am then going to pull out a C-curve on the left. And a C-curve on the right. Trying to reflect what is on the left over here on the right. So trying to meet the same point. So stopping at the same point, starting at the same point, same width. Obviously it's not going to be identical, but just having that as it just looks awkward if we had like a really wide side over here and it was skinny over there, it just looks kind of awkward. So nothing in nature is perfectly symmetrical. That's what makes it nature and organic. Um, but it does look a lot easier on the eyes if it's a little bit of a, re a reflection. So then what that looks like, once you have your guide sketch down, you can go back over it with pen, or if you're painting on top of it, you're doing this on watercolor paper, then you could just do this lightly in pencil and erase the, um, the guides that you have underneath. Like this obviously can be erased and these dots or whatever you have underneath it. But those guides are just there to help you know how to draw that basic leaf shape. So basic, basic leaf shape, C curves, three C curves. One curving this way, well, they're actually all curving, not true. Two curving this way and one curving the opposite direction. Then let's do the same thing, but with S curves. So we're starting with the C curve. Again, you're, you can use pencil to do this. I'm using marker, so it's more visible in the video. But we're starting with the C-curve, so this is the stem and the main vein of the leaf. But then to give it more of a point at the top, I'm gonna do S-curves for the edge of my leaf, the edges of my leaf. So I'm gonna curve in and hug the main vein and then curve out. And every time I curve out and come back in, I'm basically pointing right at the stem instead of um, doing it where I'm just kind of, and then we have this little opening. 
So same thing on the other side, hugging the stem or the vein and coming in. So that gives it more of a point. So if I were to draw on top of that to make it more obvious, you hug, hug, like so. And you can add detail if you want to with this basic hatching or just leave it blank. I'm gonna show you some leaves in a second that are more detailed. Now let's sketch a leaf that is a combo leaf. So S curve and C curves for the edges of the leaf. So again, I'm gonna start with my C curve. You can make this an S curve if you, if you want, but I'm gonna do C curve. And then we're gonna do just like we did in the previous exercise, we're gonna do an S curve, but it's gonna be shorter. It's gonna go about halfway or three quarters of the way down the leaf. So hug, then come out. And then about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch up that S curve, the base of the S curve, we're gonna come out to the right for a C curve. And then right there, we can connect for a little bloop, a little dip in the leaf. So then we're gonna do the same thing, S curve, trying to stop at the same point, and then come out to the left of that base of that S curve, and end at the same point. There we have a little peony leaf or some sort of jagged leaf. You can make this as jagged as you want to, you can do it three times or two times if you want. Just come and stop a little bit sooner. C curve, C curve, boop, boop. C curve, C curve, boop, boop. Boop's necessary. Let's do what we just did and combine it for a cluster of leaves like on a peony flower. So we're gonna start with our main middle C curve and have two other C curves. You can have this one reflecting the right side, the left side reflecting the, the right side, or you can have it come in the same direction, but I'm gonna have it reflecting or kind of reflecting. And let's bring this up a little bit higher. So from here, I'm gonna do my S curve to C curve situation. And not touch this just yet, because I might want to combine it with these side leaves. So do the same thing, S curve, C curve. And then you can combine them like so to be more like peony leaves. You got your flower over here. Like so. And then, bloop, that's just gonna bother me. Okay, so then last but not least, let's, what was I gonna do? Okay, last but not, not least, we are going to be sketching. I'm obviously using a marker, you can use a pencil, um, so you can erase. Uh, we are going to be sketching the figure eight leaf. This is longer, skinnier, like grass-like leaves, blades of grass, kind of like poppy leaves. Obviously those are not thin like blades of grass, but longer and skinnier pop uh, poppies. What are they called? Tulips. Tulips, thank you. Wow, John. Tulips, iris, uh, longer, skinnier leaves instead of these shorter, fatter ones. So with a pencil, lightly sketch a long and skinny figure eight that doesn't connect at the bottom. 
And that that is your guide. That is your basic shape or curves that you're following. So this is a flipped over or folded leaf. So this is the bottom right here. The bottom is kind of twisted and it's curving over here. And here's the point. And then we see the back side of that leaf here. You can do it more flipped over like so. Again, come down, loop like you're doing an eight, like a really flipped over eight and then down. And you can make that more pointed if you want. Add a middle vein. So fun little exercise. Here is a couple examples in pencil of what that looks like. Hard to see with that underneath. What that looks like. So you've got your figure eight happening right here. Woo! And look at it, it's just like a blade of grass or, uh, what do I keep saying? Tulip. Tulip leaf or an iris leaf. So practice your basic curves, your C curves, your S curves, and your figure eight leaves until the, what's the phrase? Sun comes out. Until the sun comes up, out and you are gonna have that muscle memory down, but it really does take patience and muscle memory to get that down. And this is going to help you with sketching. This is gonna help you with um, painting flowers and leave, uh, leaves. Make sure you check out, we'll link to all of the helpful videos that will help you with sketching leaves. We have a series of painting leaves in watercolor that we'll link. And then also a live video that I did here on YouTube um, that's all about sketching basic shapes for flowers and leaves. So check those out. Thank you so much for watching. This was just one part of the full length tutorial that we put together called the Complete Beginner's Guide to Watercolor Flowers, where I cover sketching flowers, sketching leaves from basic shapes and curves, painting basic flowers and their basic strokes for petals, painting basic leaves from compound strokes, pressure and release, painting an anemone star-shaped flower, painting delphinium, painting an iris flower with watercolor, color mixing using reference photos and how to achieve certain colors with color mixing, and also a full floral composition for a floral bouquet and watercolor. So make sure you check out that full length tutorial. If you liked this video, please, please, please make sure you like and subscribe to our channel, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below with what your favorite takeaway was from this video. And I hope to see you in the next one.